afternoon, family. My name is Coco, and welcome to Coco's Cucina. For those that are not familiar with my channel, I prepare dishes that are quick and are easy, and normally for one person, maybe two. So, if you guys have not clicked on my um, button to subscribe, I'm asking that you go ahead and do that if you find it in your spirit. Also, you can like, comment, and share the video. The notification bell will um, remind you of any new and upcoming video that has been released, guys. So today, guys, I am going to do for you a blackened shrimp. Now, I don't want to go outside. I don't want to go outside and uh, charcoal. That's what I don't want to do. So what I have done was uh, bring out my skillet that allows me to think that it's charcoal. It is the skillet that has the grids in it. Uh, let's see, can you see it? So it just kind of gives you an illusion of grilled. That's basically all it does. All right, so what we're going to go ahead and do today, guys, is blacken shrimp, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and heat my skillet up because it does not take this skillet long before it is shamokin, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my um, heat up. And I'm gonna go ahead and get it sprayed uh, with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So I've marinated my shrimp overnight. I've deveined it, uh, removed the um, outer shells. And to it guys, I've added jerk seasoning. I've added cayenne red pepper. I've added ground cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, seafood seasoning, and Old Bay. So I'm going to go ahead and get it sprayed down my skillet with the um, extra virgin olive oil. And this oil, it really sh doesn't um, do good on high temperatures, but unfortunately that's all I have. So my skillet is getting nice and hot. Ahead and lay these shrimp in the skillet like so.
the cayenne pepper. So we're just going to basically let these um, cook maybe about uh, two to three minutes on each side. You can see they've got the nice real mark to them. All I'm doing is just spraying this oil, guys, to kind of keep it from sticking to the skillet at such a high heat. Guys, I think these are nice and done. And you can tell by the color of the uh, shrimp on the outside. Guys, this is the final step. I'm just going to take these, place it here in my sauce mixture. And that's just a little bit of barbecue sauce, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of brown sugar.
smells so good, guys. Alright family, so that didn't take long at all, at all. It was um, very, very, very quick. Um, I've made me a bed of rice. I'm going to have my barbecue blackened shrimp with rice and we're going to sit down and we're going to have a bite together, okay? It's been a minute since we've had a bite together. Alright, thank you guys. So just join me in just a few minutes. Alright family and friends, and here we are. Here we are. <clears throat> so we are going to go ahead and have a tasting, guys. I have me some uh, blueberry wine uh, by Barefoot. And I have my blackened barbecue shrimp with a bed of rice. Bless the Lord, make me truly thankful for what I'm about to receive in the nourishments of my body in Christ's sake in Jesus' name. I love and thank you. Amen. All right, guys, let's get into this. Mm. That seasoning is amazing. Totally amazing. <clears throat> very, very good shrimp. And it's seasoned, guys, to perfection. I've never had blueberry wine. I've always drank the blackberry, but it was a gift for me. So I said, well, what the heck? Can't be that big of a difference. And it's really not. Blackberry is a little bit richer. It's more depth to it. When I tell you <clears throat> this shrimp has just enough of everything to make it a perfect blackened shrimp, I mean, it has enough of everything. Because you know, blackened has a kick to it, you know. And most of the time, that kick comes from cayenne pepper. Mm.
So guys, <clears throat> oh my God, it's so good, for real. I'm trying to have some conversation with you, but I can't seem to do it. somewhere if I don't leave immediately after this video and get in my car and jump somewhere baby who is not going anywhere period zilch today would be me if I don't go somewhere immediately mm. Guys, oh my God, in the heat, you have to follow up. But it's a good fire. My goodness. Mm. You get a little bit of sweetness, you know, from the sauce, but That marinade. Mm. That marinade set it off. That marinade set it off, guys. Ooh, my gosh. I will definitely have to do this one again. There's no doubt about it. And I did let it marinate for about 24 hours, guys. And I only sprayed it with the extra virgin olive oil and then those seasonings that I mentioned earlier. That was it. Wow, I really, I really am struggling trying to have a conversation. Honestly. When I tell y'all this shit is good. And I was gonna do me a rice pilaf. But I'm like, you know what? Just let me get some rice. Just let me get some rice and I'll be good. And that's what I did. Oh. I 
That's the last piece, guys. delicious meal very delicious um the wine was good my gosh <sighs> guys you've got to try this very very easy these were they were larger than jumbos and if i'm not mistaken these came from an asian market and uh man my nose is even running you know that was hot excuse me i think they came from an asian market because normally i get my shrimp from aldi but I wanted something a little bit more substance to it, you know? And um, so I went to the Asian um, supermarket. And they had a very large shrimp. It wasn't that much bigger than the jumbo, but it was a little bit larger than the jumbo. So that's what I got. So anyway, it doesn't matter what your size of shrimp is. You just cook it according to the size. You know, once it's no longer pink, you know, once you can't see it being pink, um, then you know it's done. If you get a smaller shrimp, then you know it's not going to cook that long. It's just not because you don't want it to be tough. So anyway, try this out. Uh, let me know you know, how you like it. Let me know if you've tried any of the recipes that I've, I've posted. I mean, it would be greatly appreciated if you did. Just let me know, hey, I tried this, it was good. You know, um, I did this, 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 and this. Um, yeah, just, you know, interact with me. It would be greatly appreciated. So anyway, guys, uh, before I get very, very comfortable with this wine, I think I'm gonna go get my toes done now, okay? All right, love you guys. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for your subscription. And until the next time, guys, remain sweet and kind, okay? Bye for now.